Hello, 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 my people. It's Leah again, and Leah is here to prepare you something healthy today. And the name of the food I'll be preparing for you today is couscous. Couscous. And here you have it. I already soak it in a little water. I sprinkle a little garlic powder in the water and I put a little bullion in the water. So as you can see, it's already looking fluffy. I have the pot over here on the stove already boiling. I put a little butter and I'm just going to steam it down. Now you don't want it to be in plenty of water because you want to get it shelly. You don't want a soft soggy couscous. No, you don't want that. So I just got to show you right here what I'm doing. So I'm now going to pour the couscous in the pot. So I pour the couscous in the pot. I have my little um, bullion, a little garlic powder, and some butter. So I'm just going to cover up it and let it just steam. You don't want it to be soggy. And with that, I'm going to prepare. It's just going to be a vegetable chicken couscous. So it's all, I just going to fry up there the chicken breast. I already cut it up right here and I season it. I like to show you all what I'm doing that if you want to try it with me, you can go ahead. So first, you get a couscous. You wash the couscous. And then, some people don't wash their couscous, but for me, honestly, I wash mine. I wash it, then I tip a little water in it, I sprinkle the bullion in it, and I just put it aside with a little garlic powder, and I just let it rest there. Then you know it's got um, the water, it's just, you got to suck up all the water. So in other words, the water's got to cooperate in it, and all the water will be gone because it all... The, the couscous all suck it up because it's soak up in it. So after it finished soak up in it now, then I have my pot on the stove already and I place it in a little butter in the water. Not too much. You can steam it with the salt if you wish to, but for me, that's all I use. But over here now, I have some chicken breast and I strip it up right here. And I'm, my season that I use with it, I use my garlic powder and I use my body a complete season and I use my black pepper. When you see a recipe, somebody showing you how they done something, that doesn't mean it has to do it the same way. You could put a little twist to it however you desire to do it, but I'm just showing you this is the way that I do mine. I'm going to go over there now and I'm going to put the, the chicken strip, which is the breast in the pot that's already heated and I'm going to let it just fry up, stir up, fry up for a while, just for a while and then I will continue. So stay tuned as I show you all that I'm doing. Here I have my chicken frying up here. I love me some garlic. So I have my garlic powder, my body pumpkin seed and my black pepper. So I'm going to leave it for a while. And here, my couscous is steaming down. You don't want too many water. No, you don't want too many water because what happened, you might put too many water and it becomes soggy. So while steaming it, if you realize that um, you need it a little more um, sulfur, you just sip a little more water. And couscous is an excellent replacement for rice and for pasta. Yeah, it's excellent. So um, you could have couscous, you could just steam it simple and have your meat beside it with some vegetable, however you so desire. And couscous could cook in many different ways. Today I'm just showing how I'm cooking it today. But we have a variety of ways that we could um, um, steam our couscous and cook our couscous. So I'm just showing you right here what I'm doing. 
and I want you to feel free to try all my it's not only just to put up on YouTube and to see what's going to happen for me. I want you to try them. I want you to try all these meals that I'm preparing. You could just, just put a little olive oil in the pot and you just fry it on. Just fry it up, let it get down. Just in turn brown and soak. You don't want a raw chicken. So just let this continue to the brown. Now my chicken is right where I need it to be. So I'm going to pour in the herbs. And um, these are my herbs. Um, it contains of um, onions, sweet pepper, and I have two different types. I have the yellow, the bell pepper, and the green one. I have garlic and I have scotch bonnet pepper. So I'm just going to pour it over. Stuff. Usually I'll put carrot or broccoli or whatever you feel like you would want to incorporate in here. Um, you could put it in here. You understand what I'm saying? So over here, that's the couscous. And that's what you want. That's what you're looking for right here. So, I still don't want it to be too salty. I just want a nice, crunchy vegetable. I'm just now going to pour in the mixed vegetable. Just pour a section of it first, and then you're going to pour the crystal state. So. And here I just um, pour the rest of the, the vegetable, I just turn it in. And this is a complete meal. Healthy. You don't want to feel guilty for having it. Let's look how colorful it looks. It's a healthy alternative for rice or pasta. I just taste this over here of the spoon. Mm. Very tasty. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. There's a taste you're looking for, and there's a texture you're looking for also. Then I just get a fork and try it. You like your um your vegetable? They're not supposed to be turning color. They're supposed to still have that colorful to it. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. You know when you prepare a meal and you know you can indulge in it and you can know that you don't have to feel guilty because it is healthy. Yeah, this is what this is right now. A healthy comfort food. So we can sometimes leave the rice alone, at least make it be twice a month. When you're doing some curry or stew peas, you know, curry or stew peas not really nice without your, your, your rice. I'm not going to lie. But sometimes drop them on. And if I can't drop it, you can drop it too. 
Uh, look at it. Beautiful. Tasty and delicious. Love you guys. And that is why I have to keep bringing my kitchen to your kitchen. Because I want you to enjoy the difference of food. I want you to enjoy food. I want you to eat food and feel comfortable knowing that you're eating something healthy. And um, not every day you're going to be on healthy food, but which is best. Sometimes you're going to be on cheat days, but at least make 75 or 80% of your food be healthy. And this is very good. Oh my, I love me some couscous. Oh yeah, tell you. Um... I love it kind of little pepper, you know, you, you, you cut up as much pepper and you can just top it off with some, um, a little, um, not black pepper, I forgot, I don't have any here with me right now, but, um, it's, it, it's just awesome when you really finish a food and know that it's well done and it is, oh Jesus, I'm just telling you, so, very lovely meal, try it at home, try it with your family. Try it for your loved one. Just try it. Yeah. Just finish off with a little parsley off of it. Or a little black pepper. And you're good to go. You are good to go. Mm, voila. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification button. Whenever time I post a video, you'll all be notified. Thank you. Love you. God bless you. Love over it. Peace out.